Hey guys, welcome back to Bandit TV. Guys, you are checking out as Muslim girl completely exposes Islam. But I don't think there's anything exposed about Islam though, but let's get straight into this. Actually, for me, I, I like, I don't have any religious or I'm agnostic because I was before Muslim. Wow. Yeah, I've, I've, I've been Muslim since, like for a long oh time. Gosh. But like, the thing that made, made me leave my religion is that a lot, there is a lot of humiliating principles in Islam. Mm. As a woman, I can't believe in these things. Mm. Honestly, like, mm. I'm not trying to be racist or Islamophobia, mm. actually, but... Try to be yourself. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying like, no one is in his fully mental health would mm. believe in that because this is insulting for humanity honestly mm. like in quran in sunnah they mm. saying that it's okay to beat women mm. it's okay to, to take all to, to, to take her freedom and all these things mm. like this this is what i believe this is what i believe mm. actually that's wow. why that's why uh, i don't believe but you know religion. the muslim you know because i actually reach out to muslim because we love people they deny this. They say, "Oh, women get a lot of rights," and many Western women Actually, even become they don't Muslims. Admit it. They don't want to admit that there's a lot of wrong things in Islam. Uh -huh. But if you if you if you read if you read the the, the, the real Sunnah, and if you open the Quran, the real Quran, mm -hmm. yeah, you're gonna see all of this written there. Mm -hmm. It's like it's Islam. Uh -huh. I, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say what I believe in. The people who apply Islam, like. The real Islam, it's ISIS. These yeah. people, these crazy people are applying it like... To the, to the, because Mohammed, he had sex slaves, he, uh, he have, promoted... And like 11 ones? Yes. Yeah, and also it says in the Quran that, you know, I think it's a Quran that, you know, you can possess sex slaves in your right hand, exactly. so you can have unlimited sex slaves, and some Muslim scholars, they don't even deny this. Yeah. Some, they, you because know, they don't want to admit the, the yeah. bad things in the religion. That's what I think. Uh, they don't want to admit that their religion is completely crazy, honestly. I was Muslim since like um, 18 years of my life. Since I born, I am Muslim and I lived Islam. Once I got like an adult, I lived that. Because and this, is, this is why, you know, God is interested in, in letting us know that Jesus Christ came to give us freedom. Because the enemy came to deceive us. Why Jesus came to give us freedom? And they want to do everything possible to stop the truth from people knowing the truth. So, we come out, you see, some people, they will not have no rest, except they respond to what God has asked them to do. To go and make sure they speak to people, to go and release people from these bondages. You see, so that's why Jesus is the person who has come to give us the truth about God. He came to show us the way to live this life and also came to show us the life of God, that life God has given to us. That we are not meant to be in, in, in a bondage. We are not meant to come and serve any other God, anything other than Christ. No, that's why Christ is God in the flesh. Jesus is God in the flesh. So he actually came to remove this ignorance, you know, that has been transferred, you know, to us, not knowing about God and all that. But the thing is, what God could show us is to understand who he is. In the nature, in the things that he has made, he has proven it to us. And even the Bible says we are made from his image, you see, and after his likeness to live like him. You get what I mean? So, but the enemy has come. He said the enemy only come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. That is why we see all of these things. So, the religious practices. What do you think about this? What she just said, Honestly, like, a... like, yeah, she's she's speaking from her point of view. Uh huh. But the thing is, it's not all. What, what, I, what, I, what I know, it's not only Islam that have like humiliating and insulting principles to women and to, 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 different, to different people, like LGBTQ community for example, mm. like all the religions, if, if you are Jewish, if you are Christian, if you are Muslim, they all the religions, they, they admit that like... So the Bible, to carry for, I know about religion, uh -huh. you see? Yeah. So the religious thing is actually to limit people from getting the truth. So, but the thing is, we are not the one who determines truth. It's God who has to determine truth, you see? So that is more reason why we need to read ourselves here, and then God will reveal the truth to us. Mm. So if we want to use our standard and feel, oh, uh, this person is doing good, so it's right, or this person is doing right, it's right, then we are also wrong, you see? That's why we can't even get the freedom we are looking for. We can't mm. even get the, 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 the truth ourselves, you see? Yeah. 
you know so we just encourage people you as a person you go and search God for yourself you, you as a person you have to mm. be sincere first it starts from being the, being truthful to yourself and say God if you are God please reveal to me yeah if we would invite you he will reveal himself he to you reveal if you are sincere sincerely seeking him you really want to know God and know who you are and find out who you really are what he has made you he will reveal it to you so until you do that you never get so can I clarify one minute yeah, about yeah, LGBT? I'm sorry, but I have a date. I'm yes. really sorry. Oh, I will let you. Do you have a gospel for her? So, but I will let you get to her. Basically, you look very pretty for your date. I hope it goes well. In terms of LGBT, um, I want to clarify. It's not like the Bible would burn these people, but the Bible says fornicators have sex before marriage, liars, adulterers will not make it to heaven. Um, so, but it's not. Um, yeah, it's not like we love people, but it's against the natural law of God. And that's all it is. But it's also sex before marriage. So it's not, and we don't hate these people. It's just the Bible. Obviously, we follow the Bible. That's what it says. Um, but we wouldn't throw it off a building like Muslims yeah. say. So we don't do you that. Wouldn't burn them alive as well, no, like? no, no, no. But we have to say the truth. Well, we have to them. say the that's truth. That, and yeah. it's the same as fornication. Do you. I'm gonna get a gospel quickly. Can I give you whilst you wait? Sorry, I'll be okay. Guys, this is cool, but I feel her problem is it with Islam, bro. Yes, we believe that there are some Islam who are extremists. Yes, there are still some Christians who are extremists. I have seen it. I have seen Christians who say if you put on earrings, you go to hell. If you put on trousers, you go to hell. If you don't live this kind of certain life, you go to hell. And there are sentences that divert from the religion. I feel she's craving freedom. You can see she's going on a date. But I feel if she is, compared on what I have understood about the Quran, that I, I haven't read it. I haven't read it completely. So I haven't re I've read a portion of it. But I, I won't say I've read the Quran. Nah, I, I, I won't lie to myself. But based on what I have read, things I have seen, videos I have reacted to, yes, there's some sure, 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 in the Sunnah, in the Hadith. Some of them, when you see, they will say, oh, it's not authentic. Yes, those kind of debates are there. But in the sense that I don't want you to talk to him or cut him away from your life. But when the Bible said, if this hand will take you to hell, cut it off or if your eye will take you to help like pluck it off they don't mean you should like bust your eye or something like just cut yourself from the sin like you know this you just cut it off like remove yourself from the sin and i think that is the best way to go but like she's saying that based on the extreme that isis at one practicing the main religion i don't think she's fed up with the religion and she crave freedom to be honest, this is what I honestly feel from this video though. Like I feel she started with religion. No, this these are people who were born to it. They didn't have a choice about choosing their path. Like they were just born to the religion. So whoa. They they really don't understand what they are doing there yet. They believe that if you search, everyone will like she says she still don't have the freedom everyone will search for the truth and you know what is right and what is wrong like it's it's fact okay i don't want to think about this video don't just like share subscribe.